The scaled composites model 281 Proteus is a tandem wing high altitude long endurance aircraft designed by Bert Rutan to investigate the use of aircraft as high altitude telecommunications relays. The Proteus is actually a multi mission vehicle, able to carry various payloads on a ventral pylon. Scaled Composites Proteus has an extremely efficient design, and can orbit a point at over 19,800 meters for more than 18 hours. It is currently owned by Northrop Grumman. <laughs> design and development Proteus has an all-composite airframe with graphite epoxy sandwich construction. Its wingspan of 77 feet 7 inches meters is expandable to 92 feet 28 meters with removable wingtips installed. Proteus is an optionally piloted Aircraft ordinarily flown by two pilots in a pressurized cabin. However, it also has the capability to perform its missions semi-autonomously or flown remotely from the ground. Under NASA's Environmental Research Aircraft and Sensor Technology project, NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center assisted scaled composites in developing a sophisticated station-keeping autopilot system and a satellite communications based uplink-downlink data system for Proteus performance and payload data. The Proteus wing was adapted for use on the Model 318 White Knight carrier aircraft, which is the launch system for Rutan's Tier 1 spacecraft and the DARPAX-37. Flight testing of the Proteus began with its first flight on July 26, 1998, at the Mojave Airport and continued through the end of 1999. In June, Proteus was deployed internationally for the first time, debuting at the Paris Air Show. It was flown non-stop from Bangor, Maine to Paris. During the week-long show, it flew each day, demonstrating its capabilities as a telecommunications platform. The Proteus is the current holder of a number of FI world records for altitude class, C1E, landplanes 3,000 to 6,000 kg, group, 3, turbojet, set in cooperation with NASA Dryden. The highest altitude achieved was 63,245 feet (19,277 meters) in October 2000. Proteus was included in the list of the 100 best of 1998 design. Time magazine, December 21, 1998. Topic: Operational history. Due to the multi-mission nature of the aircraft, it has been involved in a number of significant research projects and missions. Scaled Composites, a wholly owned Northrop Grumman subsidiary, actively markets the aircraft as a research platform, and has published a user's guide for planning proposed missions. <laughs> Angel Technologies Halo Proteus was originally conceived as a high-altitude, long-operation telecommunications platform. 
Proteus was to be the first of a series of aircraft built by Scaled Technology Works of Montrose, Colorado a proposed spin-off of Scaled Composites which was later cancelled. The aircraft was intended to carry a 14-foot antenna, which was flight tested in the autumn of 1999 and the summer of 2000, including the relay of a video conference while the aircraft orbited over Los Angeles. The project failed to move forward, however, and the subsequent series aircraft were not built. Topic: Artis Camera. A small airborne real-time imaging system, Artis Camera, developed by Hyperspectral Sciences Inc. under NASA's ERAST project, was demonstrated during the summer of 1999 when it took visual and near-infrared photos from Proteus while it was flying high over the Experimental Aircraft Association's AirVenture 99 airshow at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The images were displayed on a computer monitor at the show only moments after they were taken. Topic: <laughs> NAST validation. Proteus' first science mission was to carry the National Polar Orbiting Operational Environmental Satellite System Airborne Sounder Testbed, Interferometer instrument in March 2000 during the cloud-intensive operating period over the Department of Energy Cloud and Radiation Testbed site. The flights, based out of Stillwell, Oklahoma, encompassed 30 flight hours over a week and a half, characterizing cloud properties and validating the instrument. Then, in September and October 2000, during the water vapor intensive operating period, Proteus and NAST flew validation flights studying upper tropospheric water vapor and performing underflights of the Terra satellite. <laughs> Arm Fire AFWEX project In November to December 2000, Proteus flew as part of the DOE's Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Arm program and their water vapor experiments. Flights were essentially the same as was flown for the NAST Water Vapor Intensive Operating Period Validation Flights. NASA Trace P As part of the Trace P transport and chemical evolution over the Pacific mission, Proteus once again carried the NAST pod during March 2001. The aircraft logged 126 flight hours, and was variously based out of Alaska, Hawaii and Japan, gathering data in coordination with ground, balloon and satellite sensor packages over the North Pole in March 2001. Topic NASA Clams Proteus took part in the NASA Chesapeake Lighthouse and Aircraft Measurements for Satellites CLAMS program in July and August 2001, flying out of NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. The project used a number of different aircraft to develop methods of measuring ocean characteristics, and estimates of aerosols. Topic. Airborne laser target In February 2002, Proteus carried a 30-foot-long pod which served as a target for development of the airborne laser system. 
The pod housed an array of over 2,000 small holes containing optical sensors to detect the laser system. Due to scheduling constraints with other Proteus customers, the airborne laser never conducted an actual flight test with the Proteus target system. A target system was designed and integrated into the NKC-135 Big Crow aircraft and used for the majority of airborne laser testing. ERAST DSA system In March 2002, NASA Dryden, in cooperation with New Mexico State University's Technical Analysis and Applications Center (TAAC), the FAA and several other entities, conducted flight demonstrations of an active detect, see and avoid DSA system for potential application to unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs) out of LAS. Cruces, New Mexico. This was a part of the NASA ERAST project. Proteus was flown as a surrogate UAV controlled remotely from the ground, although safety pilots were aboard to handle takeoff and landing and any potential emergencies. Three other aircraft, ranging from general aviation aircraft to a NASA F, A-18, served as cooperative target aircraft with an operating transponder. In each of 18 different scenarios, a Goodrich Skywatch HP Traffic Advisory System TAS on the Proteus detected approaching air traffic on potential collision courses, including several scenarios with two aircraft approaching from different directions. The remote pilot then directed Proteus to turn, climb or descend as needed to avoid the potential threat. In April 2003, a second series of flight demonstrations focusing on non-cooperative aircraft those without operating transponders, was conducted in restricted airspace near Mojave, California, again using the Proteus as a surrogate UAV. Proteus was equipped with a small Amphitech OSIS 35 GHz primary radar system to detect potential intruder aircraft on simulated collision courses. The radar data was sent directly to the ground station as well as via an Inmarsat satellite system installed on Proteus. A mix of seven intruder aircraft, ranging from a sailplane to a high-speed jet, flew 20 scenarios over a four-day period, one or two aircraft at a time. In each case, the radar picked up the intruding aircraft at ranges from 2.5 to 6.5 miles (10.5 kilometers), depending on the intruder's radar signature. Proteus remote pilot on the ground was able to direct Proteus to take evasive action if needed. Topic: IHOP 2002 The International H2O Project IHOP 2002 was a field experiment which took place over the southern Great Plains of the United States from May 13 to June 25, 2002. The chief aim of IHOP 2002 was improved characterization of the four-dimensional 4D distribution of water vapor and its application to improving the understanding and prediction of convection. The NASA Holographic Airborne Rotating LiDAR Instrument Experiment was flown as a part of this project. Flights were performed in coordination with Lockheed P-3 and DC-8 aircraft. IHOP 
Topic: NASA Crystal Face. In July 2002, Proteus participated in Crystal Face, measuring tropical cirrus clouds, operating from Key West, Florida, flying as far south as Belize. For this phase of the project, the aircraft was configured with 10-foot canards and 13-and-a-half-foot wingtip extensions. Arm UAV Proteus has been used in a number of deployments as a part of a project sponsored by the DOE's Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Program and the Sandia National Laboratories to study cirrus clouds in the upper atmosphere. During these flights, the aircraft was equipped with over 20 sensors mounted on five different parts of the aircraft. In November 2002, Proteus participated in another phase of the project, flying from Ponca City. In October 2004, Proteus operated out of Fairbanks, Alaska, and, in February 2006, the aircraft was deployed to Darwin, Australia. Topic. Space trapeze In May and June 2005, Transformational Space Corp., or T. Space, flight tested their rocket release concept utilizing scaled composites Proteus. A captive carry test flight was performed on May 13, and the rocket mock-up was dropped three times, on May 24, June 7 and June 14, over Edwards AFB. The mock-up was a 23% scale model of a proposed four-person crew capsule called the CXV and its air launch LLC produced QuickReach 2 booster. These particular flight tests were to demonstrate the concept of T. Spacer's trapeze lanyard TLAD airdrop system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Model 395 development. Northrop Grumman is using the Proteus to research new UAV technologies, as it can be controlled from the cockpit, a ground control station, or operate semi-autonomously. Scaled, in partnership with Northrop Grumman, is offering a fully unmanned version of the Proteus, labeled Model 395, as part of the competition for the USAF Hunter Killer competition. If selected, that product would have been flown in 2007. On February 24, 2005, Proteus became Scaled's first bomber with the release of an inert 500 pound weapon over Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. <laughs> Global Hawk Radar On April 27, 2006, Proteus Flight tested a large pod designed to house a developmental version of the Multi-Platform Radar Technology Insertion Program, or MPRTIP. This is a long-range, high-resolution air-to-ground and air-to-air -air synthetic aperture radar system being developed for use on the RQ-4 Global Hawk. This pod is, by function of its length and frontal area, one of the largest payloads carried by Proteus to date. 
Actual flight testing of the MPRTIP system began in late September 2006, with initial flight reaching 100 knots, 120 miles per hour, 190 kilometers per hour, and 22,000 feet, 6,700 meters altitude. Topic World Records Proteus has set several world altitude records in Phi Class C1E, landplanes, takeoff weight 3,000 to 6,000 kg, 6,600 to 13,200 pounds, Group 2, turbojet, including Altitude, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 19,277 meters, 63,245 feet, October 25, 2000. Altitude in horizontal flight, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 19,015 meters, 62,385 feet, October 25, 2000. Altitude with 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds payload, piloted by Mike Melville and Robert Waldmiller, 17,067 meters, 55,994 feet, October 27, 2000. Topic. Specifications Proteus Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 2003-2004 General Characteristics Crew 2 Pilot and Copilot Length 56 feet 4 in 17.17 meters Wingspan 77 feet 7 in 23.65 meters Height 17 feet 8 in 5.38 meters Wing area 300.5 square feet 27.92 square meters Empty weight, 5,860 pounds, 2,658 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 12,500 pounds, 5,670 kilograms. Powerplant, 2 times Williams FJ44-2 turbofans, 2,293 lbf 10. 20 kilonewtons thrust each performance Maximum speed, 313 miles per hour, 504 kilometers per hour, 272 knots Cruise speed 219 miles per hour 352 kilometers per hour 190 knots at 20000 feet Endurance 14 hours at 1150 miles 1850 kilometers from base Service ceiling, 61,000 feet, 19,000 meters, mid-mission altitude. Rate of climb, 3,400 feet per minute, 17 meters per second. Topic. See also. Related development. Scaled Composites Model 318